one of my videos this is a wrong thing video where I probably will swear a bit um, but it's a little bit of a different one because um, yeah in this one um, I'm heading down towards Putney because I'm going to a, um, an old film location from a film from the 70s um, because I'm trying to make this a little bit of a Halloween flavored um, video yeah um, and <laughs> so it'll either be coming out around the 31st of October so let's see how I do so yeah this is Fulham Palace Road and um, I'm off to this old film location you'll know the film um, it was made I don't know yeah it was made in the 70s oh we're, we're very nearly here and um, it's a film called The Omen which was starring Gregory Peck uh, and uh, a guy called Patrick Troughton, who was uh, the second Doctor Who in the 60s. Yeah. Is it the Temperance up here? It should be. There it is, the Temperance. Yeah. right up his ass well her ass oh she's she's right up her ass how long do these bleeding lights stay green ah oh, about time well thank you very much that's so kind of you you absolute shithead cunt face fucking bag of bollocks yes ah oh, right here we are church property now this is where I want to be now it's Sunday, so I should be, I'm hoping I can park on a single yellow line on a Sunday. Right. <laughs> There's Ken, he's got ahead of us. He's nimble, but you have to be if you're a stunned squirrel. There's a Patrick Troughton, um, he came running up there having a had a, tried to blab to Gregory Peck about his son, Gregory Peck's son in the film, being uh, the son of uh, the devil, you know, with 666 in his head and everything. And uh, he was driven up into the church by a storm and he was banging on the door. He came up through there. The gates got struck with uh, lightning. Some of the best CGI you'll ever see in a film. And he came up through the yew, yew trees there and banged on the door, no luck, went round to the side and then uh, a very misfortune of um, a rod or a flagpole or something coming off the high tower up there swooping right down on him which was um, portrayed in uh, photos ever taken of the priest uh, leading up to it he had this dark shadow in the film um, foretelling the uh, demise of this priest yeah so this is where it was all shot the boy that played Damien the little um, devil child in this was about uh, four years old he actually came from Putney over the river there um, over Putney Bridge um, that's where he was born and he's now about 55 still alive and still an actor I believe but he hasn't worked a lot I don't think his last credited film was 2006 where he played third journalist from the left I think in the remake of one of the omens you know um, so there but he did get a little bit more publicity in about 2017 when the previous year he beat up a couple of cyclists down in Kent. They were going along and of course they went two abreast. I don't think the cyclists were uh, friends, they didn't know each other, but they went two abreast. Damien, or, or uh, Harvey Spencer Stevens as his real name, came upon them and started sounding 
his horn and in a fit of road rage he eventually pulled up and uh, smacked one of them and then the other one uh, he also got some uh, as well and uh, he got I think two years suspended sentence for GBS or something like that yeah um, so the devil doesn't like cyclists well there you are clips now don't hold your badge up you don't need a but you don't need a, a license to uh, have, have your photo taken quick uh, Griselda he's shouting at us let's move on or shall I get the mace out of the bag <laughs> that doesn't work on me girls I'm immune to the mace now I've built up a resistance and you weren't doing duck clips <laughs> oh good grief Kill me now. <laughs> huh. <laughs> no indicator at all, just round you go, round you go. You even know I'm here? Do you know I'm here? I don't think so, you're not getting over, are you? In your bloody ranger. Oh, you can't, I should think so. Don't you let that fucking Prius out. Oh, you have got indicators. Oh, that's all right. In your fuck man. Your ranger fuck man. Ooh. See me, see me, see me, you little fucker. Oh. It's time for Box Junction Bingo. bingo. Ah. Box Junction Bingo. You see it every day. Do they? They don't know. You see whether there's a box junction camera sneakily up the road. I don't think there is on that one. So you can do what you like. Ah! Now you got caught out. You lost. You lost the box junction. Bingo. She's reversing now. Actually, I think um, it's if you're stopped in a box junction, so she can reverse and move slightly forward all day long, and she should be okay. I was not stopped, although at the actual moment of the reverse, is that a stop? Oh, it's tricky, isn't it? I'm sure someone will know. Oh, look at that number plate, it's fantastic! <laughs> it's got it clean. I like the little uh, clips as well, just for Come on, mate, you should be on the ball. Uh, I was fucking Mary Poppins gonna go down the middle. Uh, look at it, oh Christ. Uh. What's she gonna do? I bet she made that herself. Oh, she's bought it, it's a G-Tech seat. Yeah, off you go then, darling. Yeah. Ah, uh, battery operated, you can tell light light hearted peddling right oh, fuck Mary Poppins there look look she's holding up bloody London she is ah oh, he's got his little spoiler up you see ah oh, you got your little spoiler up Yes, you need that, don't you, when you're uh, going through the West End? Ah, oh, you got your little spoiler up. Lovely, little, little, little spoiler. All right, I don't think he was uh, getting that. I think it was a nice idea in concept, but it hasn't quite, hasn't quite worked, has it? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, come on, it looks like a load of melted bin bags. The bell 
Bells of St. Clements and somebody should write a nursery rhyme about him. There you are, he just slides across there. He, what a fucking pr Now he's sliding back again now, look, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Whatever way that black cab can block a bike, I think that's what his aim is. He's a stranger to bloody indicators. Bus Canyon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm having that. Okay, one was a coach. Does it count if it's a coach? I don't know. Well, you can guess where we are. We're nearly at the end of the video, unless you want to watch the end bit about a gruesome discovery made with a drain plunger. This, by the way, as you see, was the Intrepid Fox. So the Intrepid Fox there, what happened was they closed the pub down. It was a great pub. It had loads of happy times there. And upstairs, the, on the first floor, used to be the members club called the Foxhole. And you could go out there and play pool if you want. So the owners of the property decided to turf the pub out that had been going for donkeys and was well liked uh, and um, convert it into three flats and an upmarket burger joint. Um, so upmarket, uh, it seems to have failed, unfortunately, but there you are. Um, but the interesting thing and why it's in this Halloween special is I think it was the top floor is said to be haunted. And uh, I think the builders, when they were converting it, came across some spooky goings on. You know, like, I don't know, a sander was moved in the night or something like that, yes. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching one of my videos. And maybe you'll come back and watch me abusing all other road users in a later video who knows anyway thank you very much for getting this far appreciate that and uh, maybe see you again bye bye take care now bye <laughs>